everybody, welcome back. Um, we're doing a quick instructional today on one of my family's favorite recipes. Um, it's something that I brought back with me, handed down from my mom, my grandma. So we just call it Oma's potato soup. Um, and ingredient wise, you're looking at a whole lot of goodness, basically onion, uh, bacon, potatoes and stock to start out with and uh, then I typically add in some vegetables whatever is left over basically in my fridge is what I add in um, carrots go really good broccoli is uh, fantastic if you have leeks um, or anything hearty like that it goes really well with it um, it's uh, a thicker consistency so I'll show you how I make it what I use and hopefully you can follow along um, for those of you who don't do a whole lot of home cooking this is a very easy recipe to do to follow along and to have a nice hearty meal for a cold or rainy day and share with your family so this is this is obviously going to be a whole lot better once we grow our own but as you know it takes time to grow food so for now it's stored bought we're looking at one onion so we're gonna cut that up um, mince it and then this will go into the pan first to sear it up Now, while our bacon and our onions are searing and browning up nicely, we can go ahead and get started on peeling our potatoes that we're gonna add. Um, the recipe calls for four to five mid-sized potatoes, depending on how much you want to add and how much you have. Um, the soup will be great with less, will be great with a little bit more, as you just add some more volume to it. Um, so you can just take the ingredients that you have on hand really um, and adjust as needed. All right, people, last step, we're gonna add some vegetables. Um, because like I said, um, if you add them last and give them about five minutes or so, then they won't be too soggy, too soft. They will still have some bite to it. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, add them as a last step and then we just need to thicken it up a little bit. Um, what I use is roux. A really easy way to thicken it up is some instant um, potatoes. Um, so that is super quick and super helpful for those of you who don't do a whole lot of cooking. Okay, this is it today for the potato soup. Um, it's time to eat and enjoy with the family. So I hope you had an easy time following along. It's a four ingredient recipe, so please try it out. Let me know how it turns out. Um, I would love to hear from you to see if you're putting your own spin on things and how that turned out and uh, maybe switch my recipe up next time. I will leave the description and the ingredient list along with the recipe down below in the description. So make sure to make notes, um, try it out, share, um, follow us along for more recipes to follow and we will see you in the next video. For those of you who don't know what roux is, it's a thickening agent that is used a lot in the kitchen, at least where I come from, as a base for gravy or a thickening agent for things like soup. It is made from flour and butter. You just melt butter in a pan on low heat, add flour to it, and that's it. Add it to your dishes.